<sighs> Hiya, and thanks for taking the time to watch um, my video. Um, this video is all about, well, it's going to be about really how to help you to sell. Um, it might be that you're in someone's house. It could be that you're in a shop. You know, it's basically um, to try and help you um, steer the person in the right direction, if you like. Yeah. Now, when it comes to selling, when it comes to actually selling, the, you have to think, what is going to make that person buy that item that you are selling? And the only thing that is going to make them want that item is going to be desire. It might seem obvious, right? Because obviously, people talk about selling, creating, you know, showing the people all about the item. It might seem obvious, but it's something that most salesmen don't do when they're, you know, when they're in like uh, in front of the person, if you like. Now, when you're trying to sell an item, it don't matter what you know what the item is. The only reason that person is going to buy that item is if is if they um, want that item more than the amount of money is going to cost them. It's basically a balance. They've got their money in this hand and the item's over here. Now, your pitch, your pitch has got to be so good that once you've ended your pitch, the only thing, the only thing that person is thinking about is saying yes. So all what you're saying to that person, all the questions that you are asking that person, right, He's got to be saying, or she has got to be saying yes to. You know, find out why the person wants this product. You know, it might be like a security system for their home. You know, what's making them look at the product? You know, or, you know, they're obviously concerned about their security. Why are they concerned about their security? It might be that their neighbour's been broken into. You need to be asking questions, and then you need to be providing um, a solutions. Yeah. You're asking questions and then you're providing a solution to their problem. And their solution is to buy your product. Now, I know what I said at the start of the video that you might be sitting there thinking, well, this is, this is obvious. It might be obvious, but it's something that so many people don't, don't um, understand. Um, I, t I want to tell you a little story about a guy years ago. He done some landscaping for me, and it turned out that when the guy come round, I actually knew this guy, nice fella. He, he gave me a he gave me a fair price, and I actually went with him because I knew him, and he was my brother's friend. Um, and it was and it was a good price. I actually went with him, but when he was round there, he started saying to me, he knew I was in sales, and he started asking me. Oh, what have I got to say when I go in someone's home? Well, how what, what have I got to act? What have I got to do? And I went all through it. I was actually there one day. I had a day off. And I was, as he was working, I was saying to him, like, you've got to go in the house. You've got to show him the patterns. You've got to get your diary out. You know, there's a procedure that you follow. And I was going all through it with him. What he's to say and how he's to act. And, you know, and the questions he's got to ask. And, you know, how he's, you know, how he needs to build up the desire. I can all through it with him. And then one day a bloke walked past a bloke walked past our, my house when he was doing the job. And he's obviously seen he see he was doing landscape. And then he said to him, he said to him, Can you pop round and give me a price? Anyway, um the guy left his name and his address. And about um end of the day, Tony, the guy the guy was called Tony, was doing the doing the job for me. He said me, I'm going to pop round and see that bloke now, the, the bloke who wants to quote. So I went to him, I said, well, I said, well good luck, Lord. I said, I said, you know what to say. You're going to go in there, you're going to talk, you're going to show him, you know, you're going to go all through it. Anyway, about about 15 minutes later, this Tony, he's come back, he's come back. And I said to him, it was funny, it was like a bit of a joke, really. I, I went to him, what? I said, weren't the bloke in? Oh, yeah, he said. He said he was in. I said, well, what are you doing here? He said, I've given him a price. So I went to him, how could you give him a price? I said, you've only been gone 15 minutes. 
He went, yeah, but he just wanted... I said, no. I said, you've done it all wrong. He'd listened to what I'd told him. He understood what I told him. What he hadn't done, he hadn't executed what I told him. Yeah, there's a big difference between knowing what to do and actually doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it turns out he's just gone round there. He's got his tape out. He's measured the bloke's drive. He's, I don't know, 20 metre drive at so much a metre. And he's given the bloke a price. I said to him, I said to him, you might as well not gone round there. Now, don't get us wrong. Some of them jobs, if you're a quota, and you basically, you, know, you write an estimate out and you put it through his letterbox or wherever you do it, some of them jobs will come back. Them jobs that that will the, the jobs that will come back will be the ones that you are just cheaper than anybody else. And you will get work that way. But that ain't the way to do it. I said to him, You haven't my exact words to him was I said to him, You've not created no desire. He said, Well, we I've given him a price. I said, You might have gave him a price. I said, But that geezer at the end of your pitch, he's just he ain't really bothered whether he has it or not. Yeah? The first thing he done wrong was, it turned out, that he, um, he's gone round there to see the husband and the wife, and the wife weren't there. And I said to him, you should have, when, the, when, he, when he said the wife wasn't in, you should have perhaps made an excuse, oh, I'll pop back later, or I'll pop back tomorrow evening. Because you know you've got a much higher, I know for a fact, I've got a much higher, a much higher percentage chance of closing a deal if both the people are there. Yeah, if it's a two-person pitch and only one of them's there, you know, you don't want to get right to the end of the pitch and the guy turn around and say, "Well, I've got to talk to my wife about it." You've just spent an hour, and he tells you he can't make a decision anyway because his wife's not there. It's so many. That's another, that's another story, yeah? But basically, what this video about is about is desire. That person, my mate Tony, he should have been showing the man pictures before and after of jobs that he's done. He should be showing a testimonials from happy, satisfied customers. He should have had his diary open. He should have been finding out when this geezer wants this job done. He needs to find out, he needs to be getting all the information, yeah? Finding out why this man wants his job done. Find out, has he got a budget? Find out, how is he thinking about paying for it? Asking all these questions, yeah? And the most important thing is, he needs to be creating desire. At the end of it, assuming the wife's sitting there, because it's usually the wife that wants to have it done, especially... If it's a new kitchen, new floor, new extension, it's going to be the wife. She's going to be the one that's going to be hammering him, drilling him to get it done. Now, she has got to think at the end of that, at the end of your pitch, that she's got to have this done. And she wants to get it done now. And that you're busy. And that you can do it for her, but, you know, you, you've got to try and fit it, fit it in. She's got to think that you're busy. She's got to think that you're the best. She's got to think that you do the fantastic job. She's got to think that your price is good. And she has, she has got to believe that you are the man for the job. Right? If you just go in there and say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'll do that. And it's like, um, I don't know, £4,000. He's just going to go, all right, mate, thanks for the quote. And, you know, whatever. Yeah? He, them, whoever, whoever's watching you, have got to believe almost like that something tragic's going to happen if they don't have it done with you. Yeah? So, desire. This video, desire, desire, desire. That person, from the moment you enter that house, has got a desire and want your products, has got to think you're the best at what you do, has got to think that your prices are good, your testimonials are good. There ain't no reason why they won't buy off you now. Yeah? Not three weeks' time. Or they're going to ring you, ring you back in a month, in a month's time. They're going to think about it. 
yeah, they can think about it. And while they're thinking about your price, the following night, some someone goes in the house, a salesman, an actual salesman who's a lot better than you, goes in there and sells it to them. Why? Right? If you cannot do this, if you cannot um, spend the time, if you haven't got the inclination, if you haven't got the, uh, the momentum to do this, then do yourself a big favour. Right? Put 10% on the price of the job right? and let someone who is a salesman go and sell it for you. Right? Because time and time again, right, have I seen people who are brilliant at what they do. This guy, Tony, he's a lovely bloke, good at his job, but the geezer's not a salesman. Right? He'd be better to say, right, I want 50, yeah, imagine you're doing block paving. I do, I want 50 pound a metre. This is, this is quite a cheap price, I'm, I'm thinking a couple of years ago, but imagine like block paving, 50 pound a price a 50 pound a metre, you say to a salesman, you get a salesman and say, look, I want 50, I want 60 pound a metre for block paving. If you sell it at 60 pound a metre, I'll give you 8 pound a metre. If you sell it at 50 pound a metre, you're only going to get 5 pound a metre. You have it on like a sliding scale. So when that salesman walks through the door, he is going to get the best price he can get for that deal. If he ends up walking out the walking out the house with a deal, and he's only and he's only sold it at the minimum, you obviously you've got to have a cut off point. You might say, well, I won't do it for less than fifty pound a meter. But if you say to him, well, look, if you sell it at fifty pound a meter, there's a five or a meter in it for you. He's still going to take the order. He's just not going to get so much out of it. Tell him to sell it for seventy five pound a meter, and you'll give him ten pound a meter then obviously he's down to him. But this is what you need to do. Don't give yourself an headache if it ain't something you really don't want to do. Yeah? you have Because you haven't got to do it. If you don't want to sell, you haven't got to do it. If I, had, if I had a big company now, I wouldn't be selling in it. I wouldn't be selling deals. I'd have, I'd have my fitters, I'd have salesmen, and I'd have um, people in the office doing the office work. And I would just be putting my money on them jobs, putting the salesman's money commission on, on the cost of the job. Yeah? You've got to be smart. You really have in, this, in, in any sales. But like I say, this video, I've gone off track a little bit, but I do that sometimes. Well, actually, I do it all the time. But desire. You must, must create desire for your product. Could be a settee, could be a home improvement, could be a new watch, a, you, know, it, you know, like a nice ring, you know, whatever it is you're selling, what's good about it, what's good about it, yeah, who's, you know, who's, you know, what's good about these products and why they should have it, keep ticking all the boxes, the more boxes you can tick, the more questions you can ask, the more questions you can ask this per person, and the more problem solving, the more problems that you can solve, for this uh, for um, forum, the more likelihood they are of putting that product in their mind is a greater value than the money in their other hand, because that's the only reason why anyone buys anything, is because they think that the money is worth less than what that product is in their house. Yeah, gonna leave it there. I hope this has been a help for you. I really do. If you're internet, if you're into marketing sales lead generation i'm your guy i know a lot about selling i know an awful lot about generating leads um i can help you i do hope to see you on another video please like and subscribe it really helped me out and uh, um if you can can you please give this video a thumbs up thank you so much again for watching my video